Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. Now in this video, we are again gonna talk about the programming and coding interviews. So yes, uh, recently in a couple of videos, I'm talking quite a lot about these programming interviews, common question, and we're gonna solve one exercise uh, regarding such issue here. And I'm, I'm not gonna be keeping any surprise with you. Let's just say that we are gonna learn how to reverse a string, uh, any provided string that is being given to you. Now it may sound really simple to you, but I have seen surprisingly many candidates being failed in this simple task. And yes, this is a uh, this is a very common task being asked in almost all programming interviews. And the reason why most of the people just fails is uh, I, I have no particular reason that I have figured it out actually. Either they have come like unprepared for the interview. Yes, they might have built up uh, projects. They might have done amazing uh, internship and everything. But uh, just like I always tell you that there is a sequence, there is a format that you have to follow. If you are showing up in an interview, be prepared for interview, not a project. If you are showing up to take a project, be prepared for showing up a project as well. So there are different kind of things, okay? So we are gonna learn how we can reverse a string. Now also, before we move on and write, this is a very simple code first of all, and before we move ahead and write code for that, let me tell you one more thing which is interesting, you should know it. Now there are two kind of interviews that happens and there are two kind of companies looking for the candidates. The one is the domain seeker, which says, hey, we want to hire maybe a Python developer and that's it. And some says we want to hire JavaScript developer and that's it. It goes for all languages, by the way. So there are these kinds of companies which are specifically looking up for that, hey, you should code in only this language and that's it. Yes, these kinds of interviews do happen because let's just say I have a product which is being designed totally in Python. Why would I hire a JavaScript developer? But again, uh, sometimes these companies as well as other companies do understand that it's not easy to find experienced and good programmers in the particular language that we are looking up for. So they also understand that if a person is like, have done a couple of projects and stuff in Python, uh, within a given amount of frame of time, he will be able to learn JavaScript as well, or maybe in that case, any other language. Let's not just be specific pointy about the programming language here. They are just all tools, no big deal and eventually you'll code, you'll get friendly in all of them. It's, it's a no big deal. So let's just see how we can do uh, a simple question is being given to us that, hey, uh, write a simple program using functions, you have to reverse a string here. Okay, uh, that's pretty cool and it should be really fun. I'm using a jsbin.com, it's a pretty famous website. I've used in a lot of my courses, so you must be familiar with that. So in order to write simple function, we are gonna do write function. It's a pretty common thing in uh, JavaScript and let's just call this as my rev for uh, reverse. Of course, it's gonna take a parameter which is gonna be string. So there we go, your function is defined. And now comes the important part. It's not about how you are dealing the problem. In the coding interviews, most of the time your function should run, that's it. And of course, there are like two or three ways how you can handle this particular problem. At least I can say, uh, I can figure out like three ways to handle this problem. At least uh, the bigger and experienced programmer than me might be saying I have five, pro five ways to handle these things or maybe six ways to handle these things. I can come up with like three ways to handle this problem, but I'm gonna be using the simplest one. So let's just declare a constant here, and I'm gonna call this constant as my name. Really bad idea, no, don't do that, but yeah, uh, we can do that. Now take this string. Now, there is no such function that you can do, uh, just like reverse, it's, it's not there, unlucky for us. Uh, but yes, they, this kind of function do exist in arrays. So first of all, we have to split our string into an array-ish thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a split function. Now this is split function, when you pass on any parameter like uh, divide my entire string or split a string or a sentence uh, based on, let's just say space, it's gonna give you based on space separated uh, string uh, array list. I hope you got that, this is not too much confusing. But when you don't pass on any parameter, it's gonna take that string and split every single character of that, okay? So job number one is done. Now we have got an array, Hitesh, and that's it. So now next thing that you can do is simply you can reverse this, and that is pretty easy. Now you have got the option to reverse, if I can type that correctly, reverse it. Okay, and you might be thinking job done, but not done. Uh, the approach that we are following here is, first of all, take a string, split that into an array, reverse that array, and now we have to join that again back into a string. And that shouldn't be a big deal, it's it's pretty easy, and we are gonna just return this. Now, in order to return, we have to use a join function here. That's not a big deal, and all I can say is, dot 
join and I'm gonna join them based on nothing. So this gives us a string back, okay? Pretty good, pretty fine, and then we can simply call this. So uh, my rev, I like this name. And we're gonna pass a simple uh, string here. Let's just call this as hello. And there we go. Now if I run this string, come on, don't do this to me. Okay, I have to just console it. So console dot log, oops, I can type that correctly, console dot log, there we go. And we can have this. So where is my console? There we go. And if I run this, uh, oops, I got a syntax error. Okay. I missed an S. <laughs> what, what a miss there. Okay, run that and we can see that. Uh, there we go. Uh, hello, Oleo, whatever that is. So you can just call it just like that and you can say simply like hello world and it's gonna just reverse everything that you have got. Pretty easy, pretty basic, apart from that, the constant that I missed there. Really bad. But again, <laughs> let's just not worry about that. So this is just one approach how we can reverse the string. Now similarly, if that would have been a Python interview, I could have dealt that uh, really, really simple. In the Python, uh, all I can say is simply like hello. And uh, the easiest trick, this is not invented by me, this is already around the programming community, everybody knows it. Just to give you a context, not being designed by me, okay? So what you can do, you can use splicing technique to reverse a string. This is the most common and I use it. It's a colon, colon and a negative one. Uh, we are just leaving start n and we are basing on uh, the steps. We are just reversing it. So it's a pretty common thing. You can just do that. This is just one of many ways of dealing these problems. Okay. I can just probably code that into like many other programming language, but that doesn't make sense. If you have a command in any language, Java, JavaScript, Python, PHP, you should be able to design such kind of easy function. For the interviewer, this is the most common thing that if somebody cannot do this kind of task and has showed up for that language interview, probably he's taking us like too lazy or he's not at all prepared. So go ahead and do exercise for these kinds of things. Uh, the important thing is how you think with the programming language. It's not about language. It's not about how you're dealing even with the situation. The major thing that the companies are looking up for, it should work. It should be done, okay? So pretty common exercise and I hope this video is, these videos are helping for you. If these all videos are helping for you, uh, please notify me in the comment section below. Uh, this is only feedback that I get and I do really appreciate all the love that you're showing at this channel. Do share it with your friends as well. Uh, let's make this channel a little bit teeny tiny popular as well. I appreciate your feedback. Do hit the subscribe in case you enjoyed this video. And just with that, I'll surely catch you up in the next video.